Hi everyone, this is Jason Dinger back with the next video in my series on how to build board game modules in Vassal. In this series, we're going to learn how to start adding components that we can pull down to add into our game. But first, we need to understand a couple concepts. And one of those is objects, properties, and values. So in a board game, an object might be a card or, or say, a cube. So you have cubes, those are objects. One of the properties of those cubes are you know, the size. Another property might be the color. So in this game, maybe I have 10 millimeter blue cubes. So the object is the cube. One of the properties is the size. The value is 10 millimeter. Another property is the color. The value is blue. So for instance, if you think of this picture we have of this guy here, he's the whole game. And some of the components in there, his shirt, his pants, those are, those are cards or dice. Those are objects. Those objects have properties, like the color. So right now, they don't, they don't have a, a value. But say that, that property, we're going to go change the property color of the object pants. We're going to make it blue. And then with the, uh, the shirt, you know, we'll, we'll make it pink. So objects, properties describe them and values are what those properties actually are. So object is a shirt, property is a color, value is pink. So now taking that into, into Vassal, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add game piece layers. So we're going to right click, we're going to drop down, uh, add game piece layer, and that's right there on the, uh, the main board. What a, a, a layer is, uh, in this case, we're, it's going to be a, a marker of, think about from the table up, you have the game board, and then sitting on the board, you maybe put cards down in certain spaces, and then maybe on those cards, you're, you're putting cues, maybe you're bidding on different parts of cards. So in Vassal, you have to know the board goes down first, and then the cards, and then the cubes. So we're going to set... Uh, that, that property, that layer, and give that to all the objects we have. That way, if we, in our proto, in, in our, our game here in Vassal, if we have a cube down on the screen and we lay a card down, we don't want that card to cover up that cube. Uh, unless you have something like that in your game, maybe some dexterity thing or whatever, but typically the card is always going to be under the cube. So we're going to just go in here and we're going to add board, card, and token. And token is just anything, whether it's a cardboard shit or a, or a, you know, a wooden component. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the the game piece palette. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to drag this window over and you see up here we have a little button for pieces. If we click on that, uh, it's going to open to the left side. There's nothing there now. I've got to drag it over and we're going to populate that where we're going to be able to drag down some wooden cubes. So we're going to put those there. The first thing we do, we're going to come over here and we're going to go to the prototype. Now, when you think about a prototype in Vassal, it's not like you think of a board game prototype. That is your handmade prototype you play with. In prototype in Vassal, if we talk about the objects and the properties, this is a generic object. So if I need to make a bunch of cubes, I don't want to add all these properties and values a, a bunch of times. I'll just make a prototype for the cube that has basic properties I want all my cubes to have. I'll add that, and then I'll just change the specific things to each different cube, like maybe their color or their size or things like that. So just keep that definition in mind. When we say prototypes, we're just talking about a generic object that we're going to make different. We're going to use those properties in different versions, so cards, cubes, things like that. So here we're going to go to game piece prototype definitions. We're going to right-click, go down, and add definition. So this will pop up, and we've got the different things we can add here. We're going to go ahead and name it. Uh, you know, in this case, I'm just going to call it Cube Proto, just something short, simple that I can I can remember later. You could name it whatever you want. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add the things we want. Every object's going to have a basic piece. We're not going to do that now. We're going to add in Delete. This will pop up a window. This is so that I can right-click on that cube in the game to delete it. I can also use a keyboard command, in this case, Control-D, and I can delete them if I, if I need to get rid of some cubes. We're going to add clones, so you can make extra copies. Same thing gives you those options. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to pick does not stack. This is important in Vassal. Uh, what that means is that if I have a couple cubes next to each other and I grab one, it would pull all of them. In certain war games or things, maybe you have chits or things stacked up, you can, you can change that you know, if you want to later. But in this case, for most components, you're not going to have that. Then finally, we're going to go to the marker. And this is what we did at the beginning, if you remember. We're going to tell it the marker uh, value is its layer. 
and then we're going to go ahead and tell it that that uh, value is going to be token. So that way you know that it'll sit highest on the board on everything else. So we have everything there. We'll click OK, save it. Okay, so now we're going to go down to our game piece palette. And from there, we're going to add a tabbed panel. So we're going to right click. We're going to go down. We have different options. You're going to see what this means in a minute. Just know that right now we're adding a tabbed panel. This is where we could have multiple tabs, uh, you know, one for cubes, one for disk, whatever. We're just going to call that cubes. All right, we'll click OK. And now if we open that folder up, we can see we have that tab panel. And to there, we're going to add a scrollable list. We're going to right click. We'll go down. So this is going to be what's on the left and right side of that pieces palette. So we're going to call that cubes. And if you look up to the top left of the screen, you'll see it's already divided it. And it's got the, the tab there, uh, which will will have the image of the cubes. And then on the right side of it, it's going to have the uh, where that white box is will have the names where you can select the different cubes that they're going to be. So now we're going to right click on that scrollable list and we're going to go add a single piece. When that comes up, we've got the basic piece. Remember, every, every object is already going to have that. We're going to double click that. It's got two things. It's got the image right there on the left and the name. So for the name, we're just going to call this blue cube, just something simple. And if we drop down the list for the images already in the game, there's just the main board. So it's not there, but I can double click this. That'll bring up the window here where I've got, you know, some art that I made for a simple blue cube, and I'll add it. We'll click OK. And now I just need to go add my prototype. So I'll add that, and I'll, the same name I used earlier, I'll add that cube proto. We'll hit OK. So now we can drop that, that list down, and we'll see we have a blue cube sitting in there. And instead of going through that whole process again, we're going to make it even faster. We can just right-click on the blue cube, go down to Copy, and then we'll go to the scrollable list, select it, right-click, and go to Paste. That will give us a second blue cube. We're going to open it up with a double-click, and we're only going to change the basic piece. We're going to rename that to Red Cube. Okay? And then we'll double-click the image, go up, pick the image of the red cube. All right, once that's done, we're going to do that again. Just copy it, paste. And you can also, instead of right-clicking, you can use Control-C, Control-V, or I believe on a Mac it's Command-C, Command-V. We're going to do the same thing with this second red cube that we did. We're going to change it to be yellow. So just type in that name there. Then we'll double-click on the image and go select the yellow cube. All right, once that's done, we'll hit Save. And you see it didn't fix everything in the box yet. As I click on it, it's going to update. There we go. And so now we've got on the left-hand side, we've got the, the cube. We can click to drag. On the right-hand side, we've got the names of them. So now if you remember when we added art to the board, same thing here. If we try to launch it now, it's not going to work. It has to compress that art. So we'll close it down. Yes, to go ahead and save the changes made to the module. Now when we relaunch the module, it's going to compress the art for those cubes back in. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we'll bring it up, edit module. Once this loads, it's going to be pretty quick because that's really small art. So now, up oh, my window's on the other on the other screen, so we'll drag that over, get that fixed. And now you can see when I launch a new game, get my board set up where I can see everything right. Remember we had to, we added the zoom capability in the last video, so now that's done. I can click this pieces button here, and now we've got our tabs panel on the left, our scrollable list on the right. We can go through the list to see the different objects. We can click on them, drag them down. So we've got a yellow. We'll grab a red. Then we'll go back up and grab a blue. And if you notice while I'm doing this, and this purple lettering right here, it's keeping a log of every action. That's important when you're playtesting. You go back and see what the players did, if they did something wrong, or see certain moves they made and learn different strategies, things like that. So it's, it's reporting to me right there every action that I take. And now... I'm going to right click on this blue cube. You see I've got the ability to, to clone it and delete it. So I can clone it. It makes, puts the clone on top. I just drag it over, clone that again, drag it over, right click, go and delete. That's all the properties that we added earlier in that prototype. That will wrap up the second video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you again for taking the time to watch, and I hope this has been helpful.